undeniable greatest running back in college football history. You're going to make your case for who it is and why. We're going to start, start with me. We're going to start with we're going to start with Mark. Go ahead. No, don't. No, start you with said me. don't. I just, oh, I thought you said do start. No, with don't you. start with me. Don't. Start oh, with me. okay. Well, then we'll. I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll start. I feel. I feel really gross, guys. I picked like two USC guys. <laughs> and it's, I'm grossed it's, out. It's a, it's, it's, uh, it's this weird, is a good one, though. It's a weird thing for me to do, but it's I got to do it. For me, it's Reggie Bush. And Reggie Bush, for a lot of reasons, he's a national champion. He has a Heisman to his name. I don't give a crap that they took it away. They can't do it anymore because of the NIL stuff. They need to give it back to him. Reggie Bush with his Heisman, all of the stats, the, all of the All-Americans. And more than that, he was the running back of a generation. When I was coming up in school, everyone in youth football wanted to be Reggie Bush. They wanted to be his, his quickness, his cuts, all of that stuff. When you think of college football in the early 2000s, you think of Reggie Bush because he was that electric. He returned kicks. He did it all. He was the number one guy on that USC team that you think of with the the Pete Carroll years. I think it's Reggie Bush. And even though he split some carries with Lindale White, I still think he's the guy you think of most synonymously with those USC teams. They wouldn't have won without him. The Bush push, you know, all that stuff is just synonymous with college football and him being the GOAT running back in college football. So Reggie Bush is my guy. Matt, go ahead. Well, hold on, Mason. Yeah. We talk about this every – well, when we do Undeniable, does he meet all four criteria? We have <laughs> oh, to hold yeah. you to what it. Oh, yeah, what are the criteria? Yeah. You got yeah. the championship. We got the, the championship. The accolades. The accolades. The longevity. The three years in college football yeah. that he that he was productive. He yeah. That counts. What's and the fourth one? It's stats. And I don't have the I stats do. in front of me, but it, but they're disgusting. So just if you want a Heisman, he's got to have some good stats. Yeah. I mean, just, just look at it. You can look him up. I don't have him in front of me, but check, check, check. For for Reggie Bush, I feel like you don't need to, you know, you, you knew what he did, the all purpose yards, all that, all that stuff. I almost cursed. Well, listen, Tyson's not here, but when he listens, I did it for you. Yeah. Thank you. You always keep Mason accountable. I I appreciate it. I got you, buddy. I need it. I need it. You go ahead now, Matt. Yeah, guys, I have to with this guy. He's an Ohio State guy, so I feel a little bit of gross too. But that's okay because he is one of the all-time greats. Better than USC. (laughs) Better than USC. That's true. Ohio State's Archie Griffin. He is the only running back and only player to win back-to-back Heismans. He's the only one that can say that. Three-time All-American. Went to or won four Big Ten titles and went to four straight Rose Bowls. He's the only player to ever do that, ever. And three All-American seasons, he accumulated over 5,500 yards. And all-purpose, he had over 6,500 and 26 touchdowns. And he holds the NCAA record for 31 straight games of 100 yards. And I remember seeing an article, what he was most proud of. It wasn't the Heismans. It wasn't the Big Ten championships. It was 31 straight games. And what he said was how consistent of a performer and an athlete he wanted to be. He proved that in 31 straight games in the Big Ten with Big Ten opponents, back-to-back Heismans. I just don't – the only thing he doesn't have is obviously a national championship. Obviously, it was a little bit different back in the 90s. There were some great teams. But to say you've won the Heisman, you're the only person that's won back-to-back years, I feel like that's really hard to beat. I can't wait to hear Mark on this one. For his, because he is absolutely wrong. Okay, speaking of, that's a good segue. segue. We'll go. We'll go to Mark. <laughs> Let's do it, baby, Matt. I wasn't going to come after you. I feel dirty too. I picked Oklahoma State's Barry Sanders to be my selection. Now he doesn't hit one of Mason's criteria in longevity, in that he didn't have multiple super duper lucrative productive seasons uh he had one year of 325 yards one year of 600 yards both years he's behind college football hall of famer thurman thomas so if y'all aren't going to give him a pass for that 
I don't really know what to tell you. I think that, he deserves a pass for that. I think he does. Thank you. That third season when Barry Sanders was given the reins, he ran in 11 games, not no, you know, 15 games like teams played this year. In 11 games on 344 carries, he ran for an NCAA record to this day, 2,628 yards. That is to this day a average of 7.6 yards a carry, a record that is to this day. I did that out of order. <laughs> and uh, and an all-time NCAA record to this day of touchdowns in a season. He also, I just counted, in eight of those games, scored more than three touchdowns. In seven of them, he scored more than four touchdowns. The guy was insane. As I said last week, the story of college football is dominant players playing dominantly. And there is no one who has had a more dominant performance for a full season at the running back position than Barry Sanders did for Oklahoma State in 1987. He is undeniably the best college football running back of all time. Okay. Patrick, round us out. I've got Herschel Walker. I feel dirty too. You should feel real dirty yeah, like right now of you all should. times. Anyways, <laughs> not only did he play football, he played track and field, and he was an All-American at both, so pretty fast guy. Um, but three-time All-American, three-time SEC Player of the Year, graduated 1% in the top 1% of his class. He is in the College Football Hall of Fame. He has a Heisman, and he has a natty against Notre Dame, and they would not have won that game unless he was that running back. Um, and then, yeah, total of 49 touchdowns in his three years, an average of 16 touchdowns a season. That's wild. My guy got 10 less than that. Yeah, but, year. like, if he's doing four in one game, he's obviously playing a bad team. Like, I think that discredits him. No, he was playing in the Big Eight. He was playing in the same conference as Oklahoma, baby. Wow. Well, I, I mean, yeah. You know what I really love? When we do this segment, obviously everyone's got their notes. And mm -hmm. I just know Mark's got his notes written of all the stats and all that. And he practices in the mirror. And at the very end, his last statement, it's always, that's why he's the most undeniable in an inner position. Uh, that's what Mark does. And I love it. You're so oh, good at it, Mark. I am ready to be clipped at all times. <laughs> you are. You definitely are. Uh, you definitely are. Let us know who your undeniable best running back of all time in college football is did we get it right did we miss somebody let us know on twitter on instagram wherever you can find us let us know who you think the undeniable greatest running back in college football is